All right, so we've got the new Enermax Liquitech TR4 edition for the new, obviously, Threadripper um, TR4 socket. AMD Threadripper from Enermax. You know, it says 100% TR4 um, coverage on there, so obviously you know we're gonna go ahead and see whether or not this is actually going to fit or not um you know from first look at the box you know nice solid coloring 500 watt tdp overclocking support so you can get a, you know, a lot of stuff out of this you know a lot of overclocking out of it so let's go ahead and open this up um, you know, let's go ahead and just check out the specs for it. It is a TR4 socket, obviously, with a copper base and aluminum radiator, ceramic nano PI or PL bearing, 100,000 hours lifespan on the pump itself. Uh, runs off obviously off of 12 volts. It's got uh, you know two 120 millimeter fans by 25. Uh, it's rated at 160,000 hours. Uh, the fan speed is 500 to 2300 RPM. Uh, airflow is 102 CFM or 173.9 or 59 uh, meters cubed an hour. Uh, it runs anywhere from 14 to 28 decibels and is a four pin PWM. Um, and it obviously has their thermal grease in there. Um, other than that, you know, like I said, it's supposed to be 100% uh, socket coverage. So let's go ahead and open it up. So we do have the user manual right here. Uh, just, you know, limited warranty, just all the specifications, like I just said, all the parts listed. Uh, you know, how to install in your case, motherboard sockets. Uh, and obviously, I mean, you get the gist of it. Um, like I said, the pump does run off of a PWM. Uh, I believe that's the only connector in there, and it does have a dual uh, pinage in there for the fans itself. Uh, first look at this box, um, you know, nice uh, styrofoam in there, nice and heavy duty. A lot of open space still, but that's really not a problem. Um, they do give you the two fans in one package. Everything is nicely, neatly packaged. Uh, I don't believe these are the ones that have the three speed fan settings on there. These are just the PWMs. Uh, we do have all of the mounting hardware, including the uh, cables for it. So we do have a Molex connection for the four pin um, that just provides power and ground. We do have the thermal grease and all the mounting hardware that they give you uh, for the TR4 socket. They do have their thermal grease right there inside of that package, all the mounting hardware for it. And they also do give you, like I said, the dual uh, four pin cables for the PWM. Only one of them will have the tachometer on there. Uh, just to, if you wanted to, you know, see the um, rotations of the fans, you know, either through the BIOS or through, obviously, uh, software on that. Let's go ahead and put that away. And then coming to the actual pump, and radiator itself. So there is the pump combo right there. Uh, ginormous CPU socket. Um, everything looks to be good on that as far as uh, you know how much depth there is. Uh, for the CPU socket itself so nothing is uneven you know everything is in uniform with that so you know obviously you know I don't have one of these CPUs here to actually test out you know to see how much coverage it looks like but obviously it's only going to be using half so there's going to be one die over here one die over here for that socket itself 
Um, everything's, you know, tightened down. Everything looks good. They do have nice sleeving on here. You know, at least what they have. It kind of is like, kind of like Mod Smarts Cobra high density stuff. Um, coming up to the radiator itself. You know, and those, uh, those look like they are, um, you know, heat shrinked on there for the cables themselves or for the tubes themselves. Nice, solid, you know, I really can't, you know, squeeze these tubes. Um, the radiator uh, comes with some of the rubber on there for the sound isolation right there on the sides. Which is a really nice look for this, especially if you're going for, you know, a black and gray build. If you wanted to see some of that, obviously you're not going to. Um, same thing with the fans, they do have the rubber isolators on there for that. Um, you know, it is made pretty, really well. Uh, you know, you can, and if you really wanted to dis dissect this, you really could. I wouldn't really recommend it. You can't refill it, which, you know, on their other lineups, you know, you can change the fluid color. You know, you can do all sorts of things to it. They even give you an extra bottle for those other ones. Uh, but pretty much, you know, first impressions of this are it does look like it's a full coverage CPU water block. But like I said, you're only going to be using two of the dyes on that CPU itself. So this will cool it down substantially for you. Uh, like I said, you know, we don't have a, you know, test here for that. Um, you know, in the future, we might go ahead and get a test bench up and running so that we can do at least some thermals on this to see what exactly they're like. Um, you know, but other than that, you know, first impressions is that, you know, this is a well solid, well built CPU cooler. It's got a really nice long hose on there. Uh, this can only be mounted one way on the CPU socket. You know, these top two right here are going to be a little bit more in, and this bottom and these bottom two are going to be out a little bit more. So when you put it on, it is going to show that Enermax symbol just like that on your CPU socket. And these tubes are, you know, they're bendable. You can mount it in the front, top, you know, if you had the room into the back. Uh, but other than that, you know, it looks like a well solid built CPU cooler and um, you know, like I said, if we could get some thermals on this that would have been really nice, but obviously uh, We don't have a test bench set up for that yet But in the future we might do that and we can go ahead and get everything on from there I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and package this back up Really nothing else in the box other than they do have the nice, uh, you know, cell foam padding in there for the, uh, you know, rigidity of the box. It's really nicely well built.